from a renewed mind. A renewed mind will help us confess in line with God's word. Romans chapter 12 verse 2 And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. The Bible encourages us to renew our minds. When we are born again, our spirit man is born again, but we still have to work on our mind. We have three choices. We could function day to day with our natural minds. Now the scriptures tell us that the natural mind um, does not have the capacity to analyze, to uh, understand spiritual things and the things of God. The second option we have is to work with our carnal minds. Our carnal minds are... Um, a carnal mind will lead us in the direction of the flesh. It will, it will draw us to things that the flesh wants and we could continue making decisions in line with our carnal mind or we could choose to function with our renewed minds. What is a renewed mind? Renewed mind uh, is the transformed mind of a believer uh, through God's word. When we input God's word, when we meditate on God's word, when we receive God's word, we believe God's word, we speak it, we live it, we, we realize that we are leading our lives through a renewed mind, a renewed mind which is aligned to what God speaks. A renewed mind um, is a mind that brings life. We read that the carnal mind, when we focus uh, on the carnal mind and the things that come out of the carnal mind, uh, it is death, it brings corruption, but the renewed mind brings life. And so uh, today I'd like to encourage us to have a renewed mind, to work uh, on the renewed mind uh, and to make our confession uh, in line with the renewed mind. And when we uh, speak with the renewed mind, uh, we, we see that you know, God uh, will, will work on our behalf. And there's another scripture I'd like to highlight for us at this point. Matthew chapter 12 and verse 34, it says, For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So we have a responsibility. We have responsibility to be full of God's word in our hearts, full of God's word in our mind and out of the abundance of our hearts, our mouth will confess words of faith, words of life, words uh, of, of power, words that will bring glory to God. So let's pray together. Father God, we pray that, Lord, you would open up our hearts and our minds, God, to your word. Lord, we pray that regarding every area of our lives, oh God, whether it is fear, Lord, whether it is uh, a sickness, Lord, whether it is, uh, Lord, a, a situation which seems like the end of the rope, God, whatever it is, that today, that, Lord, you would open up our hearts to what you are revealing through your word, oh God. And Lord, as our hearts uh, receive your word and as our minds are transformed, God, we pray uh, that, Lord, uh, may, may your life flow out of us, Father. And Lord, may our confession at every point be a confession of faith. May, be, may it be a confession of life, Lord. May it be a confession, God, which brings honor and glory to your name. Thank you, God. Thank you uh, that, Lord, we, we can renew our minds. Thank you that we can speak in line uh, with the renewed mind. We give you the glory and the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.